Okay, what are you, what are you doing? Oh, okay, what's up guys, it's Zero C Cirque, and I'm Mackenzie, back in <laughs> Gears of War. Well, I was about to say Dark Souls. Anyway, we're in Gears of War, part three, hardcore co-op, and I'm guessing the only black guy in the universe is in the background talking. Why are you going to do that? Alright, let's continue. Alright. Seriously, I think he's the only black guy in the universe. Do we jump down there? Oh, we can't. Mm. No! All that, all that trash talk too. Where's the stairs? Oh, he opened the door. He waited until he got hurt. Don't worry. Alright, where is he? Oh, I don't have any grenades. Okay. I'll go no reloading. State your name, soldier. Private Augustus Cole, Alpha Squad, sir. I said state it, not yell it at me. Train? Yeah, that's right. Where's the rest of you, squad? Why do I gotta have this voice like that? Over in the tomb. We're Delta Squad. We're here to retrieve the sonic device. And to get you guys out of here. Hell yeah, we've been waiting for the chopper. But the radios don't work for shit. Sir. We noticed. It's the Cedars. They're jamming our transmissions. Then we have to make those Cedars our top priority, sir. Agreed. We need to re-establish radio contact with control ASAP. Mm -hmm. Also, do you like the shine of my head? Alright, so, now that Carmine's died, yeah, dead, uh, now we got the black guy. Nice substitution. Something I don't understand. What? He has we saw you play. infantry armor on, and we have, like, commander armor on. Who, the Asian mm -hmm. dude? The uh, squad leader. The Asian guy. Yes. Yeah, he's fine. That just he just says he don't need that jump. These doors open up mysteriously by themselves. What the fuck was that? The footprints. They lead into nothing else. <laughs> I found something. You wait, you have to pick it up. Yeah, let me pick up uh, pick up these wheels. They're yeah, on our own. So we don't have dog tags, we just have gears. Get it! Alright, um... Where ah! can we jump down this hole? Uh, I, I like wards. I don't carry dog tags, do I carry cog tags. Uh, yuck. Alright. Jack, decloak and rip this door. Ah. So he's been following us this entire time. I'm following you and watching as your brethren <laughs> I can't do that. Really, is it? Alright, are we gonna get attacked? Yeah, I kinda figured. Hey, look, it's a grunt. Alright. Here we go. I keep forgetting the whole stupid reload system. Uh, if you stop it on each line, you reload faster. Come on now, chill. There you go. There's a melee attack for ya. It's the smell of books over here. Learning, it's very bad for you. Get your 
get your heads back in the fight. All right. This game is just made of gray. What weapon is he? Is it? What weapon? Is it? Oh, this weapon. Don't use them until I give the order. So, weapon. I think you need to come pick up your weapon. Unless you already got it. Yeah, it's right here. I don't know. Come get the thing. Or that. Never mind. I'm a complete liar. If yeah, so much for the big heavy duty satellite laser. Oh, it's the best weapon in the game. It's the hammer of dawn. Trying to make it sound cool and it took forever to murder it. Right. Look! It's supposed to be an all powerful weapon, yet. It, it couldn't kill the enemy little grunt dude. Okay, forget it. Okay. Okay, that was super lag. It only works when the story wants it to. Here we go. Nope, wrong way. Hey everyone, it's me, Mackenzie. I'm back. I had a phone call and I apologize. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Please never mind that. Alpha, Alpha Centauri? Speaking of which, never mind, I don't want to bring that up. Bring it up, come on, we need something to talk about. Alpha no. no. Use your hammer of dawn. It's a weapon that is not at all. Oh uh, speaking of dawn, um when is that, uh, uh, Batman vs. Superman come out? That sounds stupid. What sounds stupid? Batman vs. Superman? Well, when is it coming out, though? I don't know, I never heard of it. What? What do you think Ben Affleck is playing as Batman for? Oh, I thought you were talking about a game, but, uh... Uh, I'm talking about the movie. Because you know it's Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Get it? You know, Dawn of Justice League, Where? beginning of the Justice League. They're building it up, man. Because, um... They got a dude playing as Aquaman, a dude playing as Wonder Woman, Ben Affleck as Batman, Henry Cavill as, um, Superman, and, uh, The Rock is supposed to be playing as something. I'm not sure. Oh, that Injustice movie? No, it's not an Injustice movie, it's... I just told you, it's Batman vs. Superman. Control Delta, coming control. Oh my god, someone's calling. Okay, uh, hold on, sorry. Oh god. You're working on that Get problem. move! At least position. move when you take the phone call. Marcus Phoenix, the fattest person. It's the headband. It's like keeping in all of his body weight. Alright. Negative 2-4, negative. I think this is a running move. Are we getting bombed? Oh, never mind.
Anyway, now that I have no more intrusions, um, let me just speak my mind for a quick minute. Oh god, I have no qualms with, um, uh, <laughs> I'd see, I'm not, I'm messing myself. I have no qualms with Ben Affleck playing as Batman. The reason being is, uh, a lot of people were mad that Ben Affleck was playing as Batman because the last super movie, superhero movie he played in was Daredevil. And a lot of people did not like Daredevil. Now, I can understand the Catwoman because that did not copy the source material at all. Catwoman, Holly Berry, absolute garbage. Anyway, that was absolute garbage. Anyway, Daredevil, on the other hand, I didn't see any problem with that movie. It's not the actor's fault, really. It's the director's fault. Now, I watched Daredevil. It's not that bad of a movie. It's okay. It followed the source material quite well, unlike uh, Catwoman. Anyway, I don't understand all the Ben Affleck hate. And I think you'll make an alright, uh, Batman. And I've seen the bat suit. It's fine. People are like, oh, the ears are too small. What, is, what does that have to do anything? Who cares about the bat ears? At least he can move his neck, unlike, um, George Clooney. And Batman begins with Christian Bale, the first Bat movie. Then they figured out, oh, the dude can't move his neck. And they finally made some neck moving technology, patented. Copyrighted, trademarked. Alright. Anyway, I don't understand all the uh, Ben Affleck hate. <laughs> That's like Brandon Ruth with uh, Batman and Superman Returns. Everyone didn't like that. I thought it was a fine movie. The only problem I might have with that movie is uh, Jesse Epsenberg as a. Uh, Lex Luthor, I think that's his name. It was the dude from, uh... Zombie Land. That dude. Because they're like, oh, he's gonna have his hair? And I don't understand that now. And the dude's, like, young. Well, granted, he's, like, probably 28. I don't know how old the dude is. Do oh, yeah, do the stupid, uh, justice hammer thing. See, here's the thing with superhero movies, though. You can either have a serious, gritty uh, movie that has nothing to do with the story or nothing to do with the source material, or you can have an actual superhero movie based on the comics. But once they do that, people tend to not like it because it's too cartoony. That's what happened to Batman Forever with Mr. Freeze and, uh, um, uh, <laughs> Poison Ivy. All cedars are neutralized. Well, really, all the 90s Batman movies and the 60s, um, 60s Batman movie. It was too cartoony, but that was the comic books at the time. There wasn't all this gritty The Dark Knight Returns junk that the fall. That's where Batman begins and Bat Dark Knight Rises and whatever it came from. Understood. Sit tight. We'll take Taken them from those gritty anywhere, reboots. Find those In the original Batman, he never trained in the mountains with Raish al Ghul. I mean, Raish al Ghul. Hey, where do we go? Ninja, where do we go? Get ready. Here they come. Okay. It's like, which Hulk movie do you accept? Alright. Do you accept the one with Eric Bana or the one with Eric Norton? Wait, no, no, not. Eric Bana or Edward Norton. Or do you want the Mark Ruffalo one? Which really kind of gives no backstory to the character. He'll need his own movie. Let's do this. See, if they would have made. Mark Ruffalo, his own movie before coming out with the Avengers to give the Hulk more character and give his origin. Wonder what that would be like. Or are they taking off the Edward Norton thing? I don't know. I don't know why I went off on that tangent about superhero movies. I guess I'm just passing the time. What time are we at to be exact? 16 minutes? We're doing fine. Actually, 
Uh, and then do you want to stop right quick or not? Well, I guess he took the thing out of his ear, so I guess we'll do about two more minutes then. Why in the world not? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end it here. What room is this? Yeah, let's call it the Podium Talky Talk Room. Podium it talks a lot. So thanks for watching. If you're watching, this was Gears of War Part 3. Uh, hardcore, whatever phase. I'm just gonna walk up, make it seem like I'm actually doing work. Make him advance and clear. <laughs> kill clear out to all the enemies. So, I'm going to end it here.